Hey everybody, welcome back to Paper Form. Today, I'm gonna run you through how to create a ranking field in Google Forms. Ranking fields allow users to rank a set of items in order of their preference. They can be useful for collecting feedback or for making decisions based on your form respondents' opinions. Unfortunately, Google Forms doesn't have a dedicated ranking field, but if you're willing to get a little crafty, you can build yourself a makeshift one. Here's how to do it. First things first, create a new form. I've made a survey to get to the bottom of a very important question. Which Harry Potter movie is the best? Don't forget to add a heading and a description to your form. Next, it's time to add your question. In this case, we're asking people to rank all eight Harry Potter movies from best to worst. Once you've written out your question and your description, head to the answer options and select multiple choice grid. A series of rows and columns will appear below your question. This is where you'll add the options for your ranking question. Now it's time to sort out what goes in the rows and what goes in the columns. This part can be a little tricky. Add all the items you're ranking in the rows. For our survey, that means listing each Harry Potter movie as its own row. Your columns, on the other hand, are for the ranking options. We've listed one through eight for our ranking options, but you could also use descriptors like most favorite or truly terrible instead of numbers if you prefer. We're nearly done. We just have to adjust a few settings to make sure our makeshift ranking question works. First, toggle on the require a response in each row switch at the bottom of the question field. This makes sure respondents can't miss items and that each item is ranked. Next, we need to make sure that every ranking can only be paired with one answer. Otherwise, every Harry Potter movie could be number one, and we know that that place is meant for Goblet of Fire. To do this, click the three dots on the bottom right of the question and select limit to one response per column. Now respondents won't be able to select the same ranking for more than one answer. From that same drop-down menu, you can also choose to shuffle the row order, which randomizes the order in which respondents are shown the answer options. We opted to keep the films in release order for clarity, but shuffling your rows can be a really good way to cut down on survey bias for other kinds of questions. And that's it. You've made your ranking question in Google Forms. Just click that eye icon to preview your form and make sure it's looking good before you share it with your friends and colleagues. If you've stuck with us this far, you've probably noticed that adding ranking questions in Google Forms isn't exactly a streamlined process. The setup is confusing and tedious, and the makeshift nature of the ranking question means it's really difficult to get helpful data from the results. Plus, Google Forms doesn't offer much in the way of customization, and there just aren't the advanced features you find in other form builders. If you want a ranking question that works without the hassle, try a no-code online form builder like Paperform. With Paperform's doc-style editor, all you need to do is click anywhere on the page and type slash rank to add your ranking question. That's it. Two steps and you're done. But that's not even the best part. Unlike Google Forms, Paperform lets your imagination run wild with limitless customization options. You can tweak colors, fonts, images, add videos, or even adjust UI elements to create a form that's truly unique to you. Google Forms may be free, but if you need to make anything with more than just a basic multiple choice question, it's really not worth the hassle. Paperform makes it easier. But don't take our word for it. Try it yourself with a 14-day free trial, no credit card required, and see what you can make today. Thanks for sticking around, and if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more helpful content. See you next time!